Hey, what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i'm back with another tutorial today so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to sample vocals in your melodies so basically i'm just going to be showing you guys how to get your shit on time and key and everything and um how to filter your vocals so they're not too sharp in the mix so first i already created a melody i already uh i already made a simple melody you can see here i have these basic chords so i'm just going to play it for you guys real quick very simple and then what i did is i went in arcade so i went in arcade i found this bank right here and um it's basically a flute so it's nothing really too crazy something you know i just need some extra because i usually like to make my melodies like two sounds at least plus the vocal which is actually not a lot because some people will go overboard and go like five six which people some people can um some people can actually pull that off but for the most part it's just best to keep your melody simple so i have this flute right here Okay, so with this flute, what I did is I uh, I added this automation, which is um, very subtle. So basically what it does, it, it makes it like sweep the reverb at certain parts. Let me just play it for you guys real quick. It's a very simple flute, um, but when it comes to anything, you know, creative, for example, here we're making a melody. You know, it's the, it's the little things that really count. It's the, real, it's the little things that um, add up and really make a difference in the final um, in the final product. So together, it sounds like this. Also added this texture. It's a very small detail. It's just, it just sounds like this. And altogether, it sounds like this. All right, so that's the main melody. So now for the vocals. Okay, so this took fucking forever. So I'm just going to tell you right now, like, you just got to time stretch it. That's all I did during that time. You're the night, you're the color of my blood, you're the cure. Alright, so that took a while, but we got it on time. Once you have it stretched to the right tempo, you literally just want to listen through it and find a part that you want to use for it. Because obviously you can't use the whole um acapella, you gotta use a certain part. So I'm just scrolling through here. Yeah, I'll let you set you set the pace. Cause I'm not thinking straight. Let you set the pace. Okay, so we got this part and now what you want to do is you want to pitch it to the right key. So, and the thing with these is, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be in the same key, but it does have to be in the same scale. So like this is in, um, this is in the minor scale, but it's not, it's not in, um, in C, uh, in the, in the C minor specifically, but it's in the minor. So all we have to do is go in here and then just tune the pitch, um, to the melody. So you just listen. So pretty much just reset this and make sure it's on auto. So that way the pitch doesn't, um, it doesn't go to the stretch pitch. You want it to be its original pitch. So I know the vocal is an F minor. And, uh, if you want to find out what uh, key the vocals are in, you can, uh, you can Google the song and it'll pop up like the, you can put the song name and then key right beside it and then it'll pop up whatever. So yeah, this is where the, this is where the, um, this is where the, this is where the vocal is. So. You know that we have to go one, two, one, two, three, four, five down. So I'll pitch it in here. And then we're just going to The stretch is a little bit off, so we're just going to adjust it. But it's already sounding dope. So. So yeah, we got we got the vocal part. 
all right so now that we have it what you want to do is you want to send it to the mixer and to process it to make it not as sharp you just grab an eq i usually like to do like the this preset one of these presets and then i just um i just drag them you really want the mids because that's what's going to give it that warmer feel and then you can even um you can even grab the the you can even grab the acapella and adjust even more if you think you have another part that's even better so Mess with a little bit. I might do it. Um, I might I might do what I did here over here. So I'm just gonna drag this over here and then yeah so pretty much once you have it um that's a loop man so you all you gotta do is just arrange it yeah i can show you guys how to do that as well so very simple you just just drag the melodies in and then pretty much just stem it out so i like to start with all the sounds actually i like to start with the the main sounds Okay, so once you have the main arrangement, a good thing that most producers appreciate is if you stem them out. So pretty much it's basically when you, you leave some space at the end and then you play the sounds again. So what it does is when the uh, when the producer cooks up on it, it's really easy to just, you know, sing, just mess around with the loops, get more creative with it. So, yeah, it's just it's just good practice if you're sending it out to um, to producers to collab and shit. So. So yeah, that's pretty much the arrangement. And then you just bounce it out. So that's pretty much how you just sample vocals, man. It's pretty easy. Um, I'm gonna put some drums on this real quick and I'm just gonna show you guys what it could sound like with drums. Right here i have the uh, i have the bounce loop in a new project and i can just show you guys the endless possibilities like you can do drill like you can put some simple drill drums on this i'm just gonna do something real quick i'm not really gonna try i'm just gonna make sure you just do something so you guys can get the picture That's it, man. Like, I'm not gonna go crazy with the slides or anything. I just want to show you guys. If you really try like going in depth with it and shit, and like going crazy on the drums, it would be crazy. Like, you can even do trap on this. So, just grab a some trap drums.
pretty much how you sample vocals or melodies this is not necessarily you know for drill this can be for anything but this is just you know a cool little thing that i like to do a lot all right so if you guys enjoyed be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe if you're new um i'll try to be more consistent i know i said that before but i'm really serious about it now you know we out here we're gonna be consistent thanks for watching i'm out